Okay, so today we're here with the pattern pieces for the 5EZ piece F4 Phantom Fighter, which you can see I have uh, what's left of my first one over here. Took a rather unceremonious uh, landing with the contact, should I say, with the ground. Anyway, so uh, I'm building a new one. And this time, since I'm running so low on blue foam, I'm melding it out of pink. But uh, what I want to show you was that I take the images that I find of the uh, online of the planes, and I glue them to uh, foam core board to make my pattern pieces. And then I, the pat what what isn't uh, in the three views of the plane. Then I uh, make up like the nacelle tops and bottoms, some other things I had to, where I have to, where I added onto the wing and uh, corrected the size of the uh, wing tip. It's there. The KMF airfoils, for instance, the top and bottoms of the fuses, those sort of things are uh, I make up otherwise. Anyway, but get the pattern downloaded. Glue, I suggest strongly that you glue that onto this uh, eighth inch thick uh, foam core board. I get mine from uh, Hobby Lobby, which is pretty much a nationwide thing. Uh, there are others, art supply stores like that, like Hobby Lobby, um, out there that sell this. It's uh, 30 by 40 sheets, like I, but I've got laying underneath the foam here. And uh, it works great to make a template. That way, then, uh, what I try to provide for you in the pattern is, or in this, for instance, the F4, it's the left side of the plane. So you have all the pieces that are oriented uh, to the left side. And what I do to keep myself straight is I, I label them. Well, this one I didn't label left or right, but I need to anyway. But typically, I'll label them left and right. And I'll let the you see left, right, so that uh, you can see. I, I can see when I'm laying them out that I'm, I'm not making a duplicate of one I've already made that I have that. I have it handed correctly to the plane. So anyway, that's how I start. I lay them out on, usually the, these, this particular Phantom takes uh, two sheets of the 24 by 48 uh, foam. Uh, the blue stuff, I do have a sheet of that here, uh, is made by Dow uh, Chemical. And uh, in fact, here's the, here's one with the label. Dow Chemical makes the blue. And Owens Corning makes the pink. Owens Corning, they have the Pink Panther as their logo there. Anyway, they're essentially the same density and whatnot. Uh, I have found the pink lately to be a little less wavy than the blue, but that's a manufacturing thing, I suppose. But still usable. If you prefer the white Depron, hey, do it. Uh, if you want to build it out of this foam core board, uh, I suggest you find the eighth inch as opposed to trying to build it out of the... Uh, the quarter inch stuff that you find at like Dollar Tree and stuff like that, but go to the art supply stores and get the thinner stuff, it's lighter. Uh, and I think the foam in it is actually a little denser. I think it makes a better, um, makes a better plane actually. It's just a little bit heavier though than the, uh, the Depron, or than the, the Styrofoam or whatever Depron. Anyway, but lay them out on here. I use a fine point Sharpie pen and uh, it's important when you're doing this that you keep the point against uh, the edge against the uh, foam and not you know get it out this way or you trace off the wrong shape. Uh, there are score fold lines like here um, that sometimes I am wise and I designate those for you and other times I don't but that's the intent and we'll get to that I'll, I'll show you that as we proceed. Lay them out on the sheets the most you know efficient way for use of the foam and um, like that you know try to try to make them fit and you know anyway lay them out trace them and then I use typically uh, a knife like this or I've even found some at Walmart in their craft section that have titanium blades which are very handy for for cutting them out cutting out the planes anyway that's how I proceed so Let's go on to uh, the next step. What I want you to do with these, when you get them all cut out, when you get your pattern pieces cut out, making your template, what I always do is 
I fit the uh, the pattern pieces together. See, there's the fuse onto the main wing. Here's the. Sometimes I'll even tape together, but you want to make sure everything registers correctly, that you've got it cut out correctly. And you can make a mistake when you're cutting it out by cutting on the on the wrong line. Remember that you're you're when you're tracing that you're tracing it to the outside of the pattern, so you don't want to cut on the outside of the line when you cut it out. You want to cut to the inside. But anyway, it's just a good idea to put the pieces together and just make sure everything fits, especially you know with the fuse and the and the main wing and such and the nacelles. cells. Very easy to do, and you can take at that point. You can take tape and tape it together if you want to. That's up to you. Uh, another thing sometimes I do is with the KF airfoils, I will go ahead and fasten them on, and um, and I for sometimes I use hot glue, but a lot of times I use uh, Gorilla glue to uh, do that with. Uh, gives a little bit better bond, I think, sometimes, uh, especially with the flying wings. Okay. So let's move on to the actual assembly of the, of the pieces. Mm -hmm.